Hello, I'm going to show you how to homogenize skin, in this case rat skin. Um, I have a collection of pieces here, um, taken from a much larger piece. And we're going to be doing 30 milligrams in the crowd grinder, and that's about that much right there. Okay, we're going to be using the cryo grinder. Um, this is an older version, so yours might not look exactly like this. Uh, what I did, I was concerned about uh, how cold the sample was, so I actually uh, went to the far extreme. I removed the, the tray, removed the pillow, and what I have now is, which you probably won't be able to see, I actually have a pool of liquid nitrogen down the bottom, and I'm using a, a small mortar, a uh, small pestle, excuse me, and a mortar, and these things are highly chilled, and I'm actually so cold that there's actually pooled liquid nitrogen in the well. I'm putting our 30 milligrams of tissue right into the well, and I'm going to give it a couple minutes to chill down. Okay, so now we're going to take the pestle out and connect that to the drill and the mortar. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press down give it with short bursts and try to crack the tissue while mixing it up a little bit. There's a fair amount of pressure I'm putting down on here because skin is so, so difficult to homogenize. Okay, now one thing that does happen is sometimes you'll get pieces that will splatter out. What you might want to do is take anything like uh, you know, a way boat or something, cut a hole in it in the center with a punch and put it over the top. That's kind of like a baffle just to keep things from flying out. Some stuff did fly out while I was doing that, so just be aware of that. Anyway, with that, let me just show you. I'm using the tip of a um, Q-tip, wooden stick Q-tip, I'm just going to chill that end a little bit there and then just loosen this stuff up. Come back to my way boat and bring this over here. Can you oh. zoom in on that? All right, so that's what it looks like, and that was only for a few seconds. And this this could probably be more finely ground. Uh, there's some little bit of hair and whatnot in here, which is hair is really difficult. But again, I think the key is is to really keep it cold. Short bursts. If you if you run and run and run and run, you'll generate heat. That will soften up the tissue, and you'll be less likely to get it to grind. This is already starting to melt, but. Uh, that's about all there is to doing the skin is, is real cold, short bursts, and a lot of pressure.